In this video, we're going to talk about the factor theorem for polynomials. And to start the video off, let's do this simple example for where we have to find the remainder of when this f of x equals x squared plus 4x minus 21 is divided by x minus 3. And we can do that using the remainder theorem. So our divisor is already in the x minus k form and our k value is 3. So to find the remainder, we would just plug in 3 into our dividend, into the x values of the dividend, and we'd get the remainder. So f of 3 equals 3 squared plus 4 times 3 minus 21, and that is equal to 0. So when this dividend is divided by x minus 3, the remainder is 0. Now what does a remainder of 0 really mean? Well, let's do an even more simple example. So let's say we take 18 and we divide it by 3. All right, so 18 is our dividend and 3 is our divisor. Well, 18 divided by 3, as we know, is 6. And the remainder, there is no remainder. The remainder is 0 as well. So all that means is that this 3 here is a factor. of 18. So whenever you get a remainder of 0, the divisor is a factor of the dividend. So in our case, if we go back to our case here, this x minus 3, this is a factor of f of x because the remainder is 0. So let's take our result and summarize it in a general way. And this here is the factor theorem. It's actually very similar to the remainder theorem. Basically what it's saying is that if you have a divisor that's a factor, when you divide the dividend by that divisor or that factor, the remainder is going to be zero. So more specifically, there's two cases you could run into. So if x minus k is a factor of a polynomial f of x, then all that means is f of k is equal to 0, or the remainder is equal to 0. And the second case is if ax minus b is a factor of polynomial f of x, then f of b over a is equal to 0. All right, so notice how, as we had in the remainder theorem, our we could only use the factor theorem when our divisors are linear. All right, so you can check for linear factors of a dividend by quickly using the remainder theorem. If you get a remainder of zero, that means that it's a factor. 